Hello everyone, it's Jude here and welcome to Smart Watch Series. The Huawei Band 8 succeeds the Huawei Band 7 and like its predecessor, the Huawei Band 8 will track your steps, your calories, your heart rate, your stress, your blood oxygen and of course your sleep in the awake, light, deep and REM stages of sleep. So guys, is the Huawei Band 8 an accurate sleep tracker? To answer that question, I had to wear the Huawei Band 8 alongside the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Mi Band 8 to sleep a couple of nights and from my results, I can honestly say that the Huawei Band 8 has been very consistent and accurate in tracking my total sleep duration. However, since an electro encephalogram wasn't applied in my test, I cannot say if the Huawei Band 8 is accurate in tracking the time spent in the various stages of sleep. An EEG tracks the brain activity during sleep and that is the only way to accurately determine if a device is an accurate sleep tracker. So guys, I had to wear the Huawei Band 8 alongside the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and Mi Band 8 to, to sleep a couple of nights. From my results, on the first night for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 3 hours and 37 minutes. For the Huawei Band 8, it is 3 hours and 41 minutes. It is also 3 hours and 41 minutes for the Mi Band 8. So as far as the total sleep duration is concerned, you can see that we have very um, similar results. However, if you look at the time spent in the various stages of sleep, that is where you begin to see a lot of differences. For the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, for instance, in the deep stage, it is 0 minutes. And for the Huawei Band 8, in the deep stage, it is 1 hour. And with the Mi Band 8, it is 1 hour 28 minutes in the deep stage. So you can see that we have a very big difference there. Now on the second night, for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 5 hours 43 minutes. For the Huawei Band 8, it is 5 hours 47 minutes. And for the Mi Band 8, it is also 5 hours 47 minutes. So again, we have very similar total sleep duration, but the time spent in the various stages of sleep varies greatly amongst the different devices. On the third night, for the Mi Band 8, it is 6 hours and 3 minutes and for the Huawei Band 8 it is 5 hours 59 minutes with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro it is 6 hours. So guys, again we have very very close results as far as the total sleep duration is concerned. If you look at the time spent in the various stages of sleep, you will see that there is a very great discrepancies among the different devices. Now on the fourth night for the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, it is 5 hours 58 minutes. With the Huawei Band 8, it is 5 hours 50 minutes. And with the Mi Band 8, it is 5 hours 59 minutes. So based on all of these results, you can see why I had to say that the Huawei Band 8 has been very consistent and accurate in tracking my total sleep duration. To determine if the Huawei Band 8 is very accurate in tracking the time spent in the various stages of sleep, an EEG is required. To accurately track your sleep with the Huawei Band 8, you need to toggle on True Sleep. Open the Huawei Health app and go to Devices. Then tap on Huawei Band 8 and go to Health Monitoring. Then go to Huawei True Sleep and toggle it on. And this will allow the Huawei Band 8 to give you more in-depth sleep data. And when you wake up in the morning and you go to the Huawei Band 8, you should be able to see your sleep results right on the device. Go to the sleep app on the device and you should see your sleep score. Now this sleep score is based on all of the users that own a Huawei Band 8. Below that, you can see my total sleep duration, which is 6 hours and 48 minutes. And if you scroll down a little bit, you should see the time spent in the various stages of sleep. The Huawei Band 8 will also track naps, okay? If you wear the Huawei Band 8 um, during the day, it will track your naps. Now from the Huawei Health app, if you go to Health and you go to Sleep, you should see your sleep details as well, okay? 
Now from here, you can see that the Huobi N8 also tracks your breathing quality, okay? You should get a quality based on your previous night's rest. And you can see above that we have the week, we have um, um, the month, okay? This is a good way for you to be able to monitor your sleep pattern over a long period of time. So guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, smash that subscribe button and of course, turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. Until next time guys, goodbye.